talking to you. Thanks for being with us. I'm Christine Sorensen. If you try to eat healthy, you know it can get confusing just when you think something's good to eat. A new study comes along and tells you it is not. Well, in today's winning plate, we are setting the record straight. Nutrition consultant Leslie Bonsi and our regular PTL contributor here with their top 10 food truths. Leslie. Good morning. How are you? Great. You know, right. And this is time to set the record straight for what's on your plate because it is just a nightmare out there. It's so confusing. It is. You get conflicting results. So let's talk about the first one, which is hormones. Hormones are in everything. Hormones are in everything. They're in our bodies and they're also in the bodies of animals and oh. even in plants. And so when we see things labeled as no hormones added, well, you know what? There were hormones in the meat. That is the way that it is. Mm. And you know, this is it's a part of life. For instance, cholesterol is a hormone. Cholesterol is in an egg yolk. It's uh -huh. there naturally. Huh. There are things that hormones do. Vitamin D is a hormone. So the okay. goal is not to take them out. And when right. people get so crazy about this, you can make a choice of having a milk that has hormone added to it. And that's really done to increase the milk yield. But the reality is that most farmers are not doing that anymore. So go ahead and eat those foods. There's a okay. lot of benefit to them. Right. Now the next one is antibiotics have benefits. Okay. So if any of your children were sick, yes. if they had an ear infection, chances are you might be giving them something to make them better because you don't want them to suffer. Like an antibiotic. Well, that's correct. Right. So if a farmer has a cow in a herd that has an infection, why on earth would he not want to do the best thing for his animal? Mm -hmm. You give an antibiotic, you remove that, ch that cow from the herd, and then the milk is not put into production until it's clear. That's the way that it is. Mm -hmm. So why should a farmer be cruel? It doesn't make sense. They are not overused. They're used to keep animals healthy. I think people have this idea that they're just giving them all antibiotics just to keep them healthy and preventative, but that's not no, the case. No, and so if we have that vision that all the cows are lined up in the morning, <laughs> <laughs> and somebody's shooting antibiotics into their mouth. That is certainly not the case. They're used when necessary and only used when necessary. Wow. Okay. Um, now here's another one. Animal welfare is a major concern for farmers and ranchers. Right. And sometimes you'll see things is the animals were only humanely raised on a package. Well, you know what? They all are. But but it's animal kingdom, and sometimes things happen. Chickens peck at each other. These are the things that happen in nature anyways. Mm -hmm. But again, we're looking at people whose livelihood is their herd. They take care of the animals. And so rest assured, when we're eating these food items, it's okay. It's mm -hmm. not something that somebody's been cruel to. Okay. Uh, now, organic is not about is about production. Organic's not about nutritional that value. That is true. And a lot of times what people assume is if I buy something organic, right. nutritionally, it's going to be significantly better. No, it's the way that it is grown. It has nothing to do with the content of what is in there. So we can make the choice to buy those things if we want. But is it necessarily better for us? It isn't. Is it more costly? Oftentimes it is. Yeah. And you know, I always say that we're looking at this complete plate. So if you are spending all your money on just the organic and that doesn't leave room for anything else on the plate, you're not doing the best for yourself or for mm. your family. Okay, good point. All right, another one. Local is not always better for the environment. Well, and when we think about this and we think seasonal, so right now watermelon is fabulous, right? In mm -hmm. January, not so much. Finally now, great tomatoes, the way they should be. They're gorgeous and wonderful. But at other times of the year, they're not so much. And so when you think about in our homes in the wintertime and the amount of money it takes to heat your home, well, what if you're growing tomatoes in New York and you have to heat a, a greenhouse. You know, this is a lot of, oh, I want local tomatoes in New York hmm. in January. Well, yeah, but now they cost a lot of money. That's not necessarily best for the environment. So should we shame ourselves to say, oh, you know, I bought something that came from New Zealand? No, not necessarily. Could you use things that are frozen or canned? Yes, absolutely. We've got to get over this because it's making us all crazy. And more importantly, <laughs> it's making me crazy, too. <laughs> I didn't get it here. Okay. Um, another one. Corn is tasty and healthy for animals and you know, people. It, it is, and people say, oh my God, the animal was corn fed. Animals happen to like corn. Human <laughs> beings like corn. This is people think 
popcorn, summertime. These two words yeah. go together. It's a fun food to eat. You it can is. jazz it up the way you want. Again, you wouldn't eat this in the wintertime because it's not good, but for heaven's sake, it is fine. It is not just an empty carb. There's fiber in here. There's lutein in here. It's good for Someone us. Someone just the other day told me they don't eat corn because of all the sugar in it. Is there a lot of sugar in there? No, it, it, any carbohydrate food has glucose in it because that's what it's going to become when it digests down. But it's not any more than anything else. Okay. And so if you have an ear of corn, would I equate this to a cupcake? Hardly. Hardly. <laughs> Hardly. All right. We're good with corn. <laughs> Convenience is reality. Right. And for a lot of us, we get incredibly busy with what we do every day. And wouldn't it be lovely to say, oh, I'll pull out the pan, I'll put on the apron, I'll spend hours. <laughs> Wrong. Right? right. Not we don't, real, not going to do that. Reality. And so when you think about what's out there now, and there are some wonderful items. And so, you know, mm. this is actually a Nourish Bowl. So it has all of these fabulous oh, nice. vegetables in here. And to add the protein, I might use tofu or something else. Now, you know, I didn't make this tofu in my own home. You know, I didn't squeeze the soybeans. I bought it this way. It's convenient. And there's absolutely no shame. I feel perfectly fine about using something like this. It's a fact of yeah. life. Very good. All right, next one. Food is a science. Food is a science. And everybody wants it to be this way. Is black or white. <laughs> Guess what? It's not. It's 200 shades of gray. That's what it is. It is a science not a perfect science yeah. and it's fine and yeah. the cool thing is we keep finding things out all That's new true. discoveries experiments all it's the time it's all good okay next one chemicals are naturally in food dihydrogen <laughs> monoxide that sounds like something we wouldn't want in our body right. guess what that is water that's oh what goodness. it is. Every food item that you eat has chemicals in it. So when people say, oh, don't eat anything that has more than five syllables, I just want to slap them because everything is made up of chemicals. Mm -hmm. We are made up of chemicals. So is the food that we eat. Wow. Okay. And one more. Marketing on labels is confusing. It is confusing. So when we see something like this, it's way better snack. Number one, it's still a snack. Uh -huh. Number two, <laughs> it still has calories in it. And there's like all of this stuff that's on here, which doesn't necessarily make yeah. it better for us. It's just just something to choose. Yeah, sprouted, germinated ingredients. Right. I have no idea what that you means. No, it's still a cracker. <laughs> and you know, and we even when we look at the meat, all natural, humanely raised. I mean, most farmers that are raising sheep, you know, they're doing that humanely. So yeah. let's not just buy for that reason. Let's get those facts straight. Let's enjoy what's on the plate. Enough with the blaming. Let's just sit down and take a deep breath. I love the advice. Thank you, Leslie. You are welcome. And for more of Leslie Bonsi's healthy living tips, watch her regular winning plate segments Wednesdays here on PTL and check out her website. You'll find that link at kdka.com slash PTL.